let's take an example of what those drills might involve. So here is an example of a repetition drill. I will model the language and then my class will repeat after me. So, this is a cup. This is a cup. This is a cup. This is a cup. Spoon. This is a spoon. This is a spoon. This is a spoon. Knife. This is a knife. This is a knife. This is a knife. Thank you. The reason that it's called, or also called, the Army Method is that it was the method adopted by the United States military who had personnel stationed around the world at the end of Second World War and they realised that they needed those personnel to pick up the language very quickly. And that's one of the positive things about this particular methodology is that you do very quickly learn vocabulary. Another positive thing about it is that you quickly learn the correct pronunciation of that vocabulary. However, there are some negative points to it. One of the things that the drills actually lacks is some form of realistic context. And the fact that these drills are out of context in any real situation in the world makes it very difficult to translate the knowledge that you pick up into a new situation. The second negative thing about it is that errors were very quickly tried to be forced out of the students and it was realised that errors weren't in fact such a bad thing after all.